Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on application of differential equation. So this is our question. The question is the charge Q on the plate of condenser is given by the differential equation, which is d square Q by dt square plus Q by LC equal to E by L sin NT. Then show that the charge Q at any time t is given by this equation. So we have to prove q equal to some function of t. So in our previous problem, we saw the equation was linear differential equation. Now it is a higher order differential equation. And here we have q and t. So we need q equal to some function of t and we have to prove this. So we write this equation d square q by dt square plus q by lc equal to e by l sin nt. So in our equation we used to have d square y by dx square plus some constant. So here we have d square q by dt square. So our y is replaced by q and our x is replaced by so remember this this is very important because we know all the formulas in terms of x and y so this is very important where wherever there is y we replace it by q and wherever there is x we replace it by t so now we here we have d square by dt square so we we substitute d equal to d by dx we used to write d by dx and here we replace x by t so d by dt then our d square will be d square upon dt square so we substitute these two in our given equation so we get d square plus one upon lc and i am taking q outside equal to e by l sine of nt earlier we used to have a function of f of d into y equal to x here also this equation is similar to this this is our f of d into q instead of i we have q equal to some function of t so this is our equation in this the final equation was supposed to be y equal to yc plus yp in this the final solution will be q equal to qc plus qp where qc is the complementary function and qp is the particular integral so first we will find qc so to find qc we need an auxiliary equation which is given by f of d equal to zero what is f of d f of d is nothing but this term so which is d square so fd is d square plus 1 upon lc equal to 0 so d square is nothing but minus 1 upon lc so this is the square root of uh, negative term so it is complex so d square will be plus and minus i times root of 1 upon lc but we are given n square equal to 1 upon lc so n will be 1 upon root of lc so this is nothing but d equal to plus minus i into n so this is our complex root in our earlier case to find yc if we have complex root we have formula e raised to 0 e raised to alpha x into c1 cos of beta x plus c2 sine of beta x so this was the our formula similarly to find qc the formula remains the same here alpha is 0 and beta is n so e raised to alpha alpha is 0 into x earlier we used to have x and here we are replacing x by t and y by q so e raised to 0 t into c1 cos of beta t beta is n so n t plus c2 sine of beta t so this is our qc after finding qc we need to find qp 